Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another year. Welcome back to 2023. This is the first video that I'm filming for 2023 and I'm really, really excited about it because as you can see, I'm in my office right now and I literally decked up the space in 2022 or 2021 because I wanted to film in here and I didn't and I don't know why I didn't, but here we are now okay we're here we're filming uh welcome everybody i hope you had a great safe beautiful entry into 2023 i hope you have gotten yourself ready for 2023 i hope you have set your goals and set your intentions and i hope you've just you know done a whole sort of reset this is why we're here today um because i'm going to be sharing my reset with you guys which is pretty much on my phone and it's on my uh, boss plus planner and all of that but we're going to share that a little bit later on so i just wanted to welcome you guys thank you so much for being here but um, if you're interested to see what my 2023 reset video is and what i am going to be working on goals and intentions uh for myself this year then please do keep watching okay. so as i was saying um, all of my plans, goals, intentions are on my favorite. Okay, let me let me put the brain dump away. Yeah, okay. But all my plans, goals, intentions are on my favorite, favorite planner of all time, really. This is the Boss Planner, the Season of Courage Planner. And I was kindly gifted this planner by Boss Plus One. And um, if you want to see more of the planner, definitely do follow me on Instagram and on TikTok because I'm going to be doing a little bit of work with them. And I'm so, so excited to share more of this planner and what's inside it for you guys to see. But I've got all my goals, intentions, all of that set up on the planner. Um, but that's that's not what I'm gonna be using today because it is chunky and bulky and I don't have, I ain't, we ain't got no time for that. On the other hand, I have put everything down on my phone and that's what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. So my power words of 2023 are renewal and transformation. So let's get into the video of my 2023 reset, the year of renewal and transformation, shall we? Let's do it. So for me, I've made a whole entire list on my phone. And these are things that are going to pop up right here. So you can see what I'm actually looking at. As I speak to you, I've made a whole entire list of my new year's yearly reset. And this is for me in terms of personal development and all that kind of stuff. You guys know I'm very, very big on that kind of stuff. And I'm telling you, I'm going to continue being big on that kind of stuff for the rest of my life. So these are videos that you should expect on my channel, definitely. So my focal points for me, what is huge and what is what you will see here, and I am going to be looking at it on my phone, my personal focus points for me are health and wellness, which always, always includes mental health. You guys know this spirituality and faith, career and business goals, and my financial goals as well. So the, these four things are very, very important for me and just the growth and, um, you know, personal development of myself as a person year in and year out. And what I've done is, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm recovering from the flu. What I've done is I've tried to separate everything into categories so that I can share with you what I will be focusing on dependent on these four categories. So we're going to get started on category number one, which is health and wellness. <laughs> Um, so for me, health and wellness always includes food, it includes my mental health, it includes um, movement of my body, and it, and it includes essentially everything that pertains to my well-being. So whether it's psychologically, whether it's um, physically for my body, whether it is... I don't know, mentally and emotionally, that is essentially what health and wellness encompasses for me. So the first point that I had there is eating healthier going into the new year. Now, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, okay? Towards the last four, I'd like to say five months of 2022, yeah, my healthy eating took a little bit of a dive and I still relatively eat healthy because it is a lifestyle for me and it's not a diet or anything like that. I manage and moderate what I eat all the time. But what I'm saying is in the last 
four months of 2022, I literally focused on everything else except healthy eating every now and again. But I went a little bit haywire. I introduced, you know, fattier foods, um, saturated fats and that kind of thing into my diet. And honestly, honey, no. We are 10 days into the new year and I've been behaving fairly well um, from, let's just say, maybe four days ago, okay? I'm not going to include the 1st, 2nd and 3rd of January, okay? So eating healthier for me looks at incorporating more greens and less carbs. So my personal choice for the next month, maybe even two, is to have less carbs in my um, diet. Now, carbs are healthy. There's nothing wrong with carbs, but for me personally, things like bread and potatoes and um, white rice, white pasta, that kind of thing are things I've totally cut out of my uh, diet for now. And I'll be strictly eating greens, a lot of greens in terms of fruits and vegetables and less of the carbs. I'm not saying my voice, cha. I'm not saying that I will not have carbs. I'm just saying that if I do have carbs, it'll always be the option of whole wheat carbs as opposed to white carbs. Okay. More water. Water is the one thing that I've never really struggled with for me. I enjoy water. If I don't have water, if I don't have enough water in a day, I literally wake up the next day feeling like I'm dehydrated, like I, I don't have enough water in my system. So I typically just do three to four liters of water, actually four to five liters of water typically every single day. And I've done that for the longest time. That's me. That's my life. That's what I do. OK. And the biggest thing for me now is portion control. I think for me, I kind of lost my way a little bit with portion control and started snacking quite a lot and not particularly snacking on the right things. As much as I would have my green smoothies every day, but later on after an hour or two, I'd have peanuts. And then after that, I'd have something else. Then after that, I'd have a small bowl of crisps or something like that. None of that, okay? Portion control right now means I am going to be intermittent fasting up until a certain hour each day, which is something that has always worked for me and my body has responded very well to. So I'm going to be intermittent fasting until 12 o'clock each, 11 o'clock each day. Um, and from 7 p.m. the night before till 11 o'clock in the morning each day. And then having my eating patterns throughout that day, having breakfast, a snack, a light lunch and a light dinner that kind of thing. So that's that's what I mean in terms of the food wise. Um, and then when it comes to mental health, as you can see, the focus is weekly mental health check-ins. Now this is for myself in terms of journaling, which I did say, and staying on track with my mental health medication. So everything that involves my mental health, which means the medication that I'm on for my um, generalized anxiety disorder and my depression, continuing with that, but also at the same time incorporating therapy and staying within therapy and being consistent with it. I currently go to therapy sessions every about two months or so. I don't go every month unless I need her, right? But she's quite busy, so um, I try to go every two months or so. And um, that's what I intend to religiously do, going to my psychologist and my psychiatrist every two months or so just to check in, just to see if I need to change my medication or anything like that. That is something that I'm going to religiously continue to do um, going into 2023 because it's a huge part of my growth and healing process and keeping me on track, especially when it comes to my depression. And that kind of thing. <clears throat> let me have, let me, ju let me just, just. Next is reading. Reading for me is a huge part of my wellness journey. Very, very, very important. As you guys know, if you've been following this channel for a while, you know that last year I did 40 books, whereas my reading goal was 35 books last year. So this year, my reading goal is 45 books. And I'm hoping to, 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 to kill that goal. Okay. 
I'm hoping to kill that goal. Um, so for me, it'll be a year of reading 45 books, which will incorporate more nonfiction novels these this year in 2023, but also at the same time incorporate classics because I want to be like a classic girl. I want to be that girl who says that I read The Picture of Dorian Gray or I read Emma or I read Pride and Prejudice or something like that. I just want to try. And so for me, that it'll be the year of the classics for me um, with that goal, right? And then there's one of... This one is going to be a little bit of a challenging one for me and you guys will be surprised, especially if you've been on this channel for long enough, you'll be surprised that how is this one a challenging one for you. But... This one is going to be a little bit more challenging for me because I haven't been as active since pretty much 2020, late 2021 and the whole of 2022. Um, when COVID hit, it literally disrupted my whole active lifestyle, active plan because I stopped going to the gym. I stopped um, working out at home. Um, even when, you know, just after COVID hit, I worked out at home for quite a while and all of that. I just stopped doing it. And then things eased up a little bit in 2021. And then I started going back to the gym again. And then things kind of turned down a little bit again. And then I said, no. Nope. And ever since then, I haven't gone back to the gym. Now, am I planning on going back to the gym right now? I don't think so. Mentally, I am not in the place where I feel like I'm ready enough to go to the gym. And for me, the gym is a very mental thing for me. I don't go to the gym because I want to lose weight. I go to the gym because I want to be active and I want to tone my body. Whereas right now, there's other things that I can do to be active and to tone my body that do not encompass going to the gym. So right now, do I want to go to the gym at this present time? No. And the reason why I say that is because I've got a lot going on at the moment that I would rather try and find other ways of being active as opposed to knowing that I need to commit to the gym three, four times, five times, even a week. Um, so my way of being active will be taking more walks. My way of being active will be doing yoga, doing um, what are these, what are these, uh, home stretches and things like that, more movement for my body, just to encourage flexibility. For me, um, in terms of weight and all of that, it's, it's never really, weight loss has never come to me by being at the gym. Weight loss came to me by eating correctly. So for me, eating correctly, yes, I do have a wellness plan to lose the six or seven odd kilograms that I've gained over the last year or so to lose it by just going back to eating the way that I used to eat. Um, when I went to the gym, I'd already lost all the weight that I'd lost and I'd just gone to the gym <clears throat> voice, good sirs. And I had just gone to the gym just to tone up and to be more active. So it doesn't really, one can do with the, without the other. Everything is going to be fine. So that's me being honest to myself about how I feel about the gym right now. But it's also me being intentional and saying that, okay, if I'm not going to do that, then I must incorporate more movement into my system, at least, at the very least, um, just for myself, you know, to move my body. That's my plan there in terms of being active. Then, of course, there is taking time to meditate and have some form of stillness. Now, this is wellness side. It's not faith and goal related. It's not um, faith and spirituality related. This is just the wellness side. So for me, taking that 5, 10, maybe even 15 minutes each day to just be in a moment of stillness, the only time I can do this I don't see myself doing this at work. I don't see myself doing this while I'm out and about. The only time I see quiet and peace and stillness is often when I'm in my bed. So that's going to be either early in the morning before I go to work or in the evening. So just 10, 15 minutes each day where I can just be still. And for me, um, meditation apps like Abide and Headspace are going to come in very handy for me in that way. So it's just a time for reflection and not necessarily the spiritual and faith-based side of it. We're getting to that one. We're getting to that one. Getting on to the faith and based goals that I have for 2023. Now you guys know that I'm very, 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 very big on my faith. I do not 
um, shy away from speaking about my faith. I do not shy away from, I don't find any embarrassment or secondhand embarrassment for being faithful and for being very religious and all of that. So in 2023, I've got big goals for my faith and spirituality. Connecting to God and my faith is one of the biggest things. Reading my Bible once a day. Now, I do read my Bible and I read it. If you follow me on Instagram, you know this very well from my Instagram snaps. I read my Bible, but I just kind of drifted away from reading it every day last year. Um, 811. Okay, I drifted away from reading uh, it um, a lot last year. So I'm working on connecting with God and connecting more strongly with my faith this year. And so far I've been doing pretty well. So reading the Bible at the very least once daily. If I need to read it more than once daily, great, because I've also got it on my phone. So that's fine as well. Um, actively attend church when I can. I have not been to church in years. Uh, 2021 was the last time I went to church, physically going into church. So for me, actively attending church as much as I can this year um, is very, very important for me. But my faith and my spirituality is not necessarily based on going into the house of the Lord, but more so, more so based on myself and the relationship that I cultivate with my higher power no matter where I am. I can be in my car and having just a faithful moment at that time or speaking to God for like two seconds while I am waiting at the robot, you know, for the light to turn green, that kind of thing. So um, that's very, very important for me. And also listening more to faith-based podcasts for me, also very, very important. That's something that I want to incorporate a lot more of. Oh yeah, just allowing you know, myself to connect with God and um, allowing him to openly work through me and within me is something that I need to work harder on cultivating, especially this year. And I'm really looking forward to that. And it's the big chunky monkey, okay? The career and business goals for the year. Now, the first thing is definitely finishing off my life coaching course, which is going to be happening in March. <sighs> holding hands. It's going to be happening in March. And once that happens, the next goal from there would be to register my life coaching business and get started with getting in clientele and also uh, doing consultations and that kind of thing. Um, but also there will be a separate channel on my, it'll be like a sister channel to Just Got Leo on my um, YouTube space, which will be actually the name of my life coaching business. That's why I don't want to say it as yet, but it will be the name and it will be me sitting down and actually coaching through here. Okay. Or actually talking about certain things here and there that will help with personal development, but in relation to life coaching. So really, really excited about that. That is a big move. That's one of the biggest, biggest goals that I've um, got for myself this year. And I'm working on that. Okay. Wish me luck. But a lot of it will start moving, I suppose, after I graduate. Um, and then with my nine to five, it's just, I think for me, just continuing being an active employee at my job. Um, if you don't know, I actually work in the family business. I used to work with ESCOM until, <clears throat> until, um, my dad asked me to join the family business. Um, so ever since I've been working there, I've been working there for years now years now. Um, so for me, it's just to be more active and more present for my job and um, not to be passive and laid back, just to bring in a lot more of myself into my nine to five as well. And then of course, there's also social media. That is also another stream of income for me. Um, therefore, it being another job for me. Let me drink some, some tea. Hang on. Therefore, Social media is also another stream of income for me. Therefore, it is also a job for me. Um, so I want to do intentional YouTube and social media posting. YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. I want to post work that is 
intentional to me and the brand that I have created over the years. I do not want to affiliate myself with, um, you know, work or brands or do things that are just not me. I want to be very intentional in who I choose to work with. God willing, I work with the brands that I would love to work with, but also just be intentional about what I post online and what parts of myself I choose to show online. So for me, that is very, very important. I do not want to align myself with, um, I, I just want to align myself with what is more true to me and who I am. And I hope that makes sense. Um, so on YouTube, it'll be posting two times a week. I'll talk more about that in my channel changes video, which I'm going to be filming after this, but um, posting two times a week and then regular every day, once a day, maybe even twice a day, posting on Instagram and every couple of days on TikTok. But if you want to follow me on there, please do. Um, any follow, any like, any commenting really helps me out a lot, especially when it comes to here as well. So, so important that you just comment and you like the video and you comment and you like the video, please do. Um, it really goes a long way for me as a creator. So I'm counting on you guys. Like I did last year, I'm counting on you guys this year as well. Again, the goals that I have for YouTube and Instagram, I would like to be at 50,000 subscribers at the end of the year. But listen, girl, I've got bigger goals than that. I would love to be at 80. 80. My biggest one is 80. If I can get to 80, man, I will have more than achieved. Um, but for me, if I can get to... Uh, 50,000 subscribers at the end of the year on YouTube and maybe 30 or 40,000 subscribers on Instagram. I'm quite happy with um, another big thing is to encompass more short form content on my channel, which is really, really hard on my social media platforms, which is really hard for me because I feel like I'm a long form content kind of girl. Like right now, this is long form content, um, but I don't mind to challenge myself and to try, especially on YouTube, to have maybe three or four shorts a week. On Twitter, same, ugh, on TikTok, same thing. And on Instagram, I'm more active on Instagram either way. So I'm happy with Instagram at the moment. Um, then I've said um, campaign list. I have a brand list of the brands that I would love to do campaigns with this year. I just didn't include it on here because that's just for me personally, who I would love to work with. And um, for now, it's just saying to myself that God willing, I will work with my favorite brands. I will, I see it and I speak it into life and I speak it into abundance that I will be working with my favorite brands this year. And um, any kind of brand work that comes my way will be intentional if I receive it and go through with it, it will be intentional and it will not be just based on filling a quota or making money, basically. Um, and then another thing that I am going to be focusing on career-wise or business-wise is to create a wellness journal. Now, for me, it's not ever going to be something as big as this, okay? But you guys know how I am... Um, very big on wellness in my life and personal development. So it's not going to be something as big and as invested as a planner, but it will be creating just a miniature journal um, that I'm hoping to have ready by March for, um, you know, publication and for sales. Um, so if it's something that you'd be interested in me doing, please let me know. Your comments here would be very, very uh, valuable for me. Um, but I feel like wellness and mental health and personal developments development is a very large part of who I am and why a lot of you watch me on this channel so I want to give back by also it being a business but um, give back by actually creating something um, for myself that I can be proud of also at the end of the day but also for you so I'm working on that I've been working on it since December but we'll see how that goes we'll see how that goes and then the last one is financial goals. Now, I left financial goals to be the very last thing because 
I don't like to talk about money. And as you guys know, I find talking about money a little bit too out there, abrasive, even in some contexts, tacky. So I'm not going to talk about money on, on, in, under financial goals, but I will say that what I do want to do is save more and spend less. Yes, <laughs> it's save more and spend less. And um, what I can tell you is that I have rental, I have um, currently four streams of income. So I have, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. I have rental money that comes in monthly. I've got my job money that comes in monthly. I've got social media money that comes in monthly and that kind of stuff. So I campaign work and all of that. So currently as it stands, I've got four uh, streams of income. And what I do want to, at the very least, put away and save what I can manage, what is within um, my budget, which is all in here, okay? What is within my budget, looking at my incomes versus my expenses, what I can manage to put away is about 5,000 rand each month. So that's what I am going to try my level best to keep up and do every single month i've already cut down on a lot of things um book buying is going to be one of the things that i'm going to cut down extensively on uh, books are quite expensive and i spent a lot of money last year buying books and i'm not going to do that this year um but also saving bits and pieces of money that comes in from my various streams of income so that's all i can share on the financial sphere these are my goals this is my yearly reset in terms of personal development and in terms of health wellness uh, mental health finance and everything else <laughs> that i mentioned i'm a little bit fried at the moment but that is what i wanted to share with you i hope this video was in some way or is in some way valuable for you i would love to know what your mental wellness reset goals are for the year what your um, personal development goals are for the year i'd love to know if you have a word of the year for me my words of the year are transformation and renewal as i said at the beginning of the video and i'll talk about that more so in my channel changes video because i incorporate that a little bit there um, but yeah that's pretty much my 2023 yearly reset um, transformation and renewal um, intentions and goals for the year so I'd love to know what you think of the video please comment please like the video please be a member if you're not there will be membership content um, you'll know more about that in the channel changes video but there will be more membership content this year as well um, so yeah thank you so much for being here I wish you a great, productive, growth-filled, healing-filled, um, career-driven, ambitious year for 2023. And I hope you carry God with you as you continue about your days or whoever your higher power is. I hope you listen more to yourself um, and not others this year and follow your intuition. And I wish you the best year. I feel good about this year. I really feel good about this year. So I wish you as well the best year in 2023. And until the next video, I'll see you then. Bye.